this is part two of my ranting. Basically, I'll say it about the noobs, you know, it does me head in. Yeah, you've got noobs that come on and the TK you because they fire a damn rocket down a hallway. You know, it's not exactly the smallest weapon. It's good if you're at a far distance and you're firing down a hole. But if it's, oh, face to face with a rocket launcher, you've got a assault rifle, you're beating them, and they fire a rocket launcher point blank at you. It's like, you noob. You absolute noob. You can't fight. Oh, God. Just don't. Noobs get on my head. And then, you get, you get the other ones. You, you'll probably have seen This is FPS specifically I'm talking about. Because RTS, you don't get this really. Renegade was a bit weird, like that. Kind of conquer Renegade. Good game, some say it wasn't. I love the single player, multiplayer was a bit crap. Anyway, yeah, you're walking along, and then you see this person just walking across in the middle of the battlefield. Do you know, explosions either side. It's a bit like Ralph Wiggum or Simpsons. If you can't help but not to laugh, you, mean, you idiot. And surprise, surprise. He gets stabbed or shot a million times. And also the battle noobs, you get the, these players. I call them I call them stubborn. Yeah, we all know what stubborn means. <laughs> it's rather funny. You got to be honest with it, it takes about four or five knives in the back on Quake, unless you're a cover ops or infiltrator to kill someone. And yeah, I'm crouched on the floor and you stab them about four or five times and you just won't turn round. It's just like, why just wouldn't you turn round? You had about four or five seconds to react. Just to turn around and shoot me in the face because I only had a knife out. It's just... Oh. And then, you've, and then, you know, noobs. Yeah. I mean, we're all, we've all been noobs at some point, but if you're not good enough, play single player for a while. Don't ruin the game for the rest of us. We want to play, We want to challenge ourselves. We want to have a fun game. We don't want to be thinking, oh, we've got to protect this bloody piece of garbage. But... Yeah, it's it's just a bit iffy, really, isn't it? But, as I say, we're all noobs. We've just got to learn to live them. You kill one, you can guarantee you'll find five more the next day. They just keep coming and coming. Some people just never learn. Well, I'll move away from noobs now. I don't think I've ranted about them enough. I could keep going, but I won't. The final thing I'll talk about for this ranting about computer games, it's ish related. It's, you know, the Doom 3, you know, when Doom 3 came out, it's got all this satanic imagery in it, and, you know, personally, I didn't find the game too disturbing. In fact, I didn't find it disturbing at all, because what you've got to realise is, it's a computer game. It's not real, it doesn't... S to imagine, uh, you know, kind of like demons invading from hell and all this, you would have to believe in religion and so forth and so forth, it just doesn't work, you know what I mean? Good game though, very good game. I love Doom. Not as good as Quake though. But, yeah, you, we couldn't, but basically, before I start rambling on, yeah, it was full of violence and it was quite violent, granted, you know, blow someone up and, and did cult fly someone and blow to little pieces. And the satanic imagery, and hell was quite traumatic. Lots of screaming. I like the Berserk. I love the Berserk. I love the screaming. If anyone can get that Doom 3 Berserk sound when you put the mask on, if anyone can get that sound for me, I'll be grateful. Just leave me a comment and then I'll get back to you. But, yeah. <laughs> you get, can you remember all that fuss? I don't know if you can or not, but there was all this fuss in the past about all this rubbish about that, oh, it's going to make people violent and it's going to disrupt childhoods and stuff like that. No, it won't. If, you know, if someone's going to play it, they're going to play it. If so, you're going to ban it, we're just going to download it. And that's going to cause more damage to the computer game industry and the economy than just letting the game come on. I mean, responsible parents will not let them have it. I mean, some kids are obviously more grown up than others. When I was younger, I didn't grow up with Winnie the Pooh or anything like that. I grew up with Terminator, Predator, you know, violence. You know, and I'm a quite calm and collected person. Well, people know me. Yes. But yeah, 
It's it just does my head in and it, all that fuss about banning it, that's what I want to say. People who ban computer games or any violent anything, you know, it just gets on my tits. Yeah? It's just irritating beyond all human reason how some people, a small a minority of people, can be like, oh, I don't want this game to come out because blah blah blah. We were that close to not seeing Doom 3 on UK shelves because of these people. But thankfully, the government had the right sense to think, these are a bunch of liberal nuts. We don't want them to be ruling over us. I mean, when was the last time the Liberal Party ever had a fucking vote in Parliament? When was the last time they were in government? A long time ago, I can tell you that. At least in the UK, anyway. Don't know much about foreign politics. But in the UK, it was quite a long time ago. But yeah, it just does me head in out. A small group of people can just be like, yeah, you're not having it. Oh. If you're one of these liberal people, please don't start an argument with me on... This is to anyone. Don't start an argument with me on YouTube. Because these are just my views, yeah? And if you want to express your views, that's good, but don't start getting into an argument about it with me. Or a dispute. Because, you know... I don't really want to get into one. Just my personal preference. But anyway, yeah. Basically, the take home messages from this is A. Don't be a flamer. That is, do not be, oh, you absolute ra you know, racist term here and you mama, whatever. Second, if you're a pro, a so called pro, don't play on stack teams. It doesn't look good for you. And for personally, I would call you a stat whore, and that is quite insulting, I believe. Yeah. Third one, if you're a noob and you know it, play single player for a while until you can actually match some of the middle middle skilled players on any FPS game, or RTS really, because you can tell when the noob's about. And four, if you're a liberal and you don't want some games to come out, don't ruin it for the rest of us, just don't buy the game. Just don't, or just don't watch the imagery, you know? We are just asking just to be left alone, alright? We like our games, we don't want them to get banned. But this, anyway, this is Chris, signing off.